bed bugs. They make your skin crawl, bite you at night. They are a growing problem throughout America and in Spokane, and they are incredibly hard to get rid of. One Spokane woman says her apartment is infested. The bed bugs are torturing her. KXLY 4's McKay Allen has the story. It's awful. They are creepy. It's the worst thing ever. Crawly. It's frustrating. It's gross. And they bite. I dread to come home because I wonder how many times I'm going to get bit. They are bed bugs feasting on blood under cover of night. And Kate Sloan's apartment, she says, is full of them. And how many days a week would you wake up and say? Every morning. It started this summer, just days after moving in. About two weeks later, the beginning of August, I started getting bit. I get bit every night, every day, multiple times. Kate lives at the Wedgwood Park Apartments in North Spokane. So I started talking to the other tenants around here, and they're like, oh yeah, we're getting bit too. A spokesperson for the apartment complex says Wedgwood Park actually paid twice to have various apartments exterminated. They even paid for Kate's to be exterminated, she says, four times, but to no avail. But it has not worked because we still have them. They are so rampant, these bugs you rarely see in the daylight, that Kate caught two of them. She had to throw out her couch because it was so infested. She even went out and bought a brand new mattress. Why did you have to get rid of the old one? It was infested. There, there were bugs living in the mattress. Her clothes, almost all of them are in plastic bags sitting on her patio. Why do I want to bring it back in to have it infested? Wedgwood Park didn't speak on camera and wouldn't talk about specific tenants, but did confirm more than one apartment has bed bugs. An apartment spokesperson, Kurt Jacobson, tells KXOY Wedgwood Park has gone above and beyond to get rid of the bed bugs. They have, after all, paid for exterminators multiple times. But Kate wants more. She wants to be let out of her lease or live rent free until the bed bugs are gone, or at the very least be reimbursed for the new mattress, the old couch, stuff she's thrown out because of the infestation. I don't want to have to pay to live in an infestation, which is what we're doing right now um, for the past two months. And I'm about to pay rent, you know, here today for the third month of living in an infestation. And I don't really think that's fair. <laughs> but for now, Kate is still here. And for now, so are the bed bugs. It's just a nuisance and um, it, it really does create insomnia because you end up waking up in the middle of the night wondering if there's bugs crawling all over you. McKay Allen, KXLY4 HD News. And we should point out that Wedgwood Park is far from the only apartment with bed bugs. There are several apartment complexes and hotels throughout Spokane that have reportedly had bed bugs and they are very hard to get rid of. In New York City and Dallas, some entire apartment buildings had to be abandoned because they simply couldn't get rid of the bed bugs. Experts say the only things that are effective are repeated visits by exterminators in quick succession, but sometimes even that doesn't work.